Hey everyone, it's mailback time. This little package holds some electronic components and it arrived from a seller from AliExpress which is previously unknown to me, which means it's time for another AliExpress seller review. Okay, so first of all, here's a quick overview of what should be inside the package. This also contains the name of the seller, which is Tinery Electronic Official Store. And the items are basically just randomly selected items, which might be useful for a future project, but if they arrive in a bad condition or they don't arrive at all, no big deal, no loss, because they are not an essential part of a project right now. Anyway, let's start with the items. So the first one is an 80 tiny 85 with a micro USB connector. And the second one is also an 80 tiny 85 but with a totally different form factor. Third item is called BME280 and it should be a digital temperature plus humidity plus barometric pressure sensor. Okay, next item is a luminosity sensor and it is called TSL. 2561. Never heard of it before, to be honest. But again, randomly selected items. The next item is a bi directional current and power monitoring sensor module which works with uh, I2C. It's called INA226. Actually, this is the most useful in this package, uh, not counting the IT tinies, because uh, I still have plans for uh, DIY switching power supply and this might come handy. So the last item is advertised as a high accuracy temperature sensor. Again one item I never heard before but I wanted to try anyway. Its name is MCP9808 and this one also works via I2C. Okay time to unpack stuff. So let's see what's inside the package. Cool, everything in anti-static bags. That's how I like it. Now let's try to identify stuff. So first, this one. Anyways, let's see these modules now that uh, the package has been opened. So it was easy to identify these 80 tiny 85s because they have this micro USB connector. And this one is also the eight, another 80 tiny 85 with a different USB connector. You can actually plug it into a USB socket like a pen drive or something. Now the rest was a bit trickier because these are tiny, tiny, tiny little modules. So first of all, this is the, let me check my list, BME280. This is the digital temperature, humidity and barometric pressure sensor. Then this one with a lot of resistors, this is a so-called high accuracy uh, temperature sensor, MCP9808. This one, actually this is the first which has markings on it. So this is the TSL2561 which was the luminosity sensor. And finally, this one. This is the INA226. The currency, uh, current or power monitoring module. 
Okay, so far seems like everything is in order, everything is in good condition, so next step is to try out something. Probably one of the 80 tiny 85s. But actually before that, here's a close-up from all the modules included in the package, so you can see the PCB quality and stuff like that. Woohoo! Blinking lights! Cool! Actually it took some time to figure out these modules, but uh, that would work in another video, to be honest. Point is, all three modules are good, and I don't want to waste too much time on testing out each and every module just for the sake of this video. Let's talk instead about the seller itself, like how was the selling process, uh, how much time the package took to arrive, and so on. As you can see, the seller specializes in uh, Arduino modules or modules that are easy to be used with a breadboard. Actually, this is a gold mine for beginners, I guess, but it must be mentioned that most of the stuff is not really new technology. Even the newest stuff they are selling is based on uh, electronics that are 3 to 5 years old. Regardless, they have a nice variety of controllers, sensors and whatnot, so I will definitely order a few more things from them, just for the sake of experimenting. Now regarding delivery time. As you can see on the screenshot, it basically took about uh, 2 weeks for the parcel to arrive to my home country. And uh, while the screenshot doesn't show it for some reason, it took an additional 6 days for it to arrive to me. But that is specific to my home country and may not apply to yours. So all in all, given uh, that uh, AliExpress normally gives 60 days for delivery, I say the two weeks is pretty good, at least based on my experience with uh, ordering from China. Also kudos for the seller for basically shipping the package on the next working day. Anyway, that's it about this seller. To sum things up, I recommend it, but if you know this seller and you have a different experience, please share it in the comments. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, hit like. If you want to help my channel and see more of my content, hit subscribe. If you want to check out behind the scenes and want to know more about me, then follow me on social media. You can find the links here. Thank you again and see you next time.